side. All right, bad, 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 bad. Yo, we just got the phone with my boy PJ. We just stepped up to his crib. He told us to come through the side door. Bro, this house is crazy. I'm gonna take y'all through a look. Well, he's gonna take us through a little tour of his crib. So come on, let's do it. Let's see. Yo, yo. What's good, my oh, boy, boy, my boy. What's good? How you been? Welcome to the crib. Let's go. The man himself. So we got, we got the Roman theme. Everything is Roman. Uh, we got a statue of David up here. We got the fire coming out. Um, jacuzzi here. We got the, the whole Roman lion theme. So you can see the lion we Got statues everywhere. Oh, this is nice. We got a little uh, sitting area. We have breakfast over here. We train a lot of athletes at this house. And so a lot of the athletes would come in, get their protein shake, hang out, play foosball, and then get into their workout. <laughs> hey, this is a dream house, man. Real talk. This is only in the backyard. What else you got? What else you got? Over here, we got our recovery area. You guys can hang out, uh, you can get your massage in here, um, do our Norma Techs, all that compression stuff, we do that here. We got our TVs, we got three TVs surrounding the pool. You don't even have to turn your head, you can see the game from any angle. He's already napping, that's how comfortable already, it is. Already, already. <laughs> Hearing that waterfall, the different type of vibe. Yeah, different type of vibe. Oh, we got a little, we got a little secret spot through here. Y'all know nothing about this. You come through here. You got a random sitting area. We don't really use that area, but you got it if you need it. <laughs> and then we come under the rock truck. It's like a yeah. Indiana Jones ride or oh, something yeah. like that. Nah, bro, it's good. So we call this the King's Chair carved it out of the rock so only the king gets to sit here. You win a game of king of the court and you earn this spot. Everybody else sits elsewhere and the king sits here. You got other seating in here. Oh, you can't forget the lion right here. So you can hook up so you can have Gatorade or whatever and it comes out the lion's mouth right here. Random feature. Um, you got crystals in the rock. So this whole rock is embedded with some crystals. You gotta feel the energy. We got multiple fridges back here, ice maker, TV, and then up here, oh yeah, this is how you get to the water slide. Can't forget we got the underwater treadmill there. Oh yeah. So when we're doing like low impact cardio or whatever, we, we do the uh, underwater treadmill, works the hip flexors, glutes. So uh, a lot of our guys take a lot of impact on the court, so we do a lot of underwater work for them. So this is the weight room. Used to be a master bedroom, but we said nah, we don't need that. We converted it into the weight room. We got all air resistance, Kaiser, uh, pneumatic resistance. We got our traditional weights, power racks, deadlift stuff, all that, but what's unique is we got the air resistance so you really get maximal power whether you're a little kid or an NBA superstar, you can really start to you know, get max intent and do it nice and safe with air resistance. Uh, so this is more of the weight room, and then we got this little stretch area here. Got the stretch area, um, MVP shuttle for plyometrics and for rehab.
so far, man, this house is dope. Really, really dope. I can't express that enough. I've been here multiple times, but every time I come back, there's always something new about the house. Like the first time I got here, it wasn't this. This wasn't here. It wasn't half that backyard. It wasn't here, none of this. But these really came a long way. Like this is, this is really inspirational to me and a whole lot of other people that's watching this. Just keep on grinding it and keep on doing what you're doing, trusting your process. Sooner or later, you'll get what you want. But this is dope. Wake up, hustle, repeat. Put the head on to the back. Even though it's crazy how this is the backyard, we got more of the backyard to show y'all. So right here we got our trampoline. We put it in the ground. We use it a little bit for training, but mostly just for fun, honestly. Put it in the ground because it's a little more safe and it's just dope. Um, and then we got the full court here. Uh, got it fully branded. We got our logos, the PJF logos. You can't cheat the grind center court because you really can't cheat the grind. Um, it's one of our, some of our athletes, it's just their favorite quote. So, got that center court. You can't, you can't cheat the grind, man. Every day, hustle. We got, the, we got the lights for nighttime basketball games. We got the lights. We got lights in every tree hidden. So I think we have like 70 something palm trees on the total property and every one of them has lights. So at night you flip the lights and everything, all the palm trees get a spotlight. It looks even better at night. So here we got the sand pit. So this is mostly for workouts, also for vibes though. Um, got like three feet deep, so you can never hit the bottom. Um, sometimes we put chairs around, fire pit, roast marshmallows at night. Like I said, it's for work, it's also for play. Uh, we got our movie screen right here, so we come out at night and watch movies out here. Like I said, when I first came, he didn't have none of this. He came a long way with this. This is what grind and hustle really looks like. So this is our outdoor weight room. The indoor weight room is not enough. We need the vibes outside too. So I got this specially designed for jumping. It's got a good spring to it, so it's soft on the knees, but you can still get nice and bouncy. Uh, we got our power rack, glute machine, super cat, all that. Got a bunch of different machines, uh, treadmill, Versa climber. Uh, like I said, we got our projector there. So we use that for our movies at night, but I also use it for athlete sessions because I can film something slow motion and then put it right there on the projector to give them the feedback they need. Uh, we got our force plates here so we can measure exactly how you're producing force in the floor. Uh, so that we can find your limiting factor of your athleticism. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we got the turf over here. We got like 45, maybe 50 yards of turf. And so we do all of our sprints here, all of our agility, a lot of our plyometrics. I got this specially designed so it's nice and soft on the knees. Um, so you got some really good padding on it. We just did our uh, Vertec test. Do our sled pushes here, our resisted sprints, all that kind of good stuff. 50. Test the wrist. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Got another kind of like a little weight room, kind of like a storage area. Um, Got our run rocket for resisted sprints. Got our Vertimax. Um, Got our stretch cage here. Just put this together recently. Yeah, 
Big keys. This is uh, open you all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, oh. I'll so, this is the workout side, and then right behind you, we got the party side. We got the mini golf here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're here night time as well. Yeah. Yep. We got lights up, everything spins. So, we got nine holes, mini golf. Guys can finish their workout and then just relax, play, uh, you know, challenge each other. So, I'm getting pretty good, so nobody can beat me now, <laughs> but everybody else can come in second. So, <laughs> we got the fire pit, so yeah. you can relax. Hit the fire, watch a movie right there. Chill it. Um, over here is all work. You come back so you get to chill and relax. Long ass, no break. Yeah, man, like I was saying, the backyard is crazy, bro. What? Sir. Man, where was you at? We was looking for you. <laughs> but with, oh my goodness. Last piece of the house, podcast studio. So this is where we do all of our podcasts. We create content. I'm actually getting a vocal booth coming next week. We got a vocal booth custom made. Oh yeah. So that's not here yet, but you got your TV. Um, you got your couches, and these are comfortable couches too. Most comfortable couches in the world. You can recline. I hang out, recline, take my shoes off, make podcasts. Um, right here. Oh yeah. Oh, we got the, Get you lit up. the glow up cup holders. Oh, here we lit. Uh-huh. Let me see. It's not tough. So I don't have my signage yet, but we're going to put movie posters in here. These guys light up. Um, and then I'm going to put a logo there. We don't got the logos in yet. Um, but we got it fully soundproof, so that's what the foam is for. So we, there's no echo. Uh, highest quality sound that we could possibly get. What else we got in here? <laughs> what else we got here? Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm so blown away, bro. And yeah. then the final piece is the artwork. We got the Kobe mural right here. So that's that's motivation. One of the most, uh, one of my idols is always Kobe. I got to meet him um, maybe six years ago in Anaheim. I got to kind of watch the end of his career. And he became kind of a trainer and worked uh, with some of our players. I got to sit in on a lot of his sessions. That was always like one of my big uh, motivators is just seeing how he holds himself, um, how he's always looking to help and uh, how just how he's a leader. So I kind of try to take that into my business. Um, so I got to get the, the Kobe mural. The man about to show us his shoe collection, AKA his kicks. Let's see what he's rocking with. All right, so first of all, I got every color of Ultra Boost. I wear Ultra Boost almost every day. So I got every, I probably have 100 pairs of Ultra Boost, honestly. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of them that I'm hyped on right now. I'm sponsored by Adidas, so I'm all Adidas. No Jordan, no Nike, no nothing. Adidas is three stripe fam only. Three stripe life, three stripe so, life. These are some of my favorites right here. Some sort of like special edition. I don't even know, it's got like some Indian writing. Oh, this is tough. I don't know what. I've never <laughs> it's seen like some Hindu. Yeah. Saw them so these are the, the human races. Oh my goodness. Um, same shoe, Ooh. just with the pure white. It's got oh, the Chinese yeah. writing. Fresh. Unbox. That's on ice. Yeah, that's on, I probably won't put those on either. Uh, we got so Hardens. I got every every color of Harden. One of my favorite performance shoe from Adidas, as far as making cuts um, and feeling feeling good on the feet. I like the Hardens a lot. Um, I don't even know what these are, but it's like, it's their laceless basketball shoe. It looks like some space boots. They look like the next levels, but they're not. Yeah, I don't know, they might be next levels. I was like, I don't even know what these are, but these are dope. <laughs> so I, I took them from the shoot, they gave them to me. Um, I've been hyped on the Dons lately, Donovan Mitchells. Uh, I think these are issue two. Yeah, I like the bright, I like the bright colorways. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And then you got the Dons here. Yeah, bro. Them are fantastic. We'll see you coming from a mile away in Those these. Tough. And then, of course, the Crazy Eights. Oh, yeah. Kobe yeah, Crazy Eights. So, super rare shoe. Um, Adidas sent these out a couple years ago. And I'm like, I'm, I'm never wearing these in my life. These go on the top shelf. Snake skin. Top shelf. Snake skin. Crazy Eights. 
never seen them. A lot of the kids watching the videos won't even know that Kobe was ever Adidas. Adidas Kobe was Some Adidas. of you kids that are watching this was not alive when Kobe was with Adidas. Right. They see all the Kobe Nikes. Right. Kobe had Adidas too. You're a real Kobe fan if you know about that. Adidas, if y'all watching this, go ahead and sponsor me too because, you know, yep. I'm like that. Put it like that. I, I'm like that. <laughs> they deserve a deal. Yeah, Max, that's what I'm saying. Adidas, look. I'm the <laughs> highest jumper in the world. <laughs> Sign me. Let's start something new. So, I know a lot of people going to go through the video and, and wonder how long did this take you to get where you're at now? So, I've been training people for about 12 years now. Um, I started in college, so I started really early. I was still playing and I was already training people, getting my certifications and all that. So I started real young. I would say I've been grinding for 12 years, um, but it started off eating Top Ramen, living off protein shakes, like right. can't even pay my rent. I would buy a certification with my rent money right. and try to figure it out on the back end, like right. try to figure out how not to get, how, how not to go homeless. Um, and so just grinded through college um, and then I started it. It, it started doing pretty well after college. Like my first year after college is when it started getting up to like ASU players. I got a couple Suns players. So it started to pick up and I was like financially stable, but nothing right. crazy. And then after that, I started dropping online programs. That's where it really started to take off. Use social media to kind of market myself. Um, and then it, it started doing well. Then I moved to California, put myself, put my clothes in a plastic bag Hopped in the car and took off and moved to California. Dropped everything, opened up a gym in Anaheim. Um, and then that started doing well. We started getting way more pro players and it, the brand kind of just started to go viral. Um, and then from there, it's just been, you know, uphill ever since. And then to the point where we're at now and uh, we just moved in this house a year ago. That's crazy. That's so I would crazy. say, I would say 12 years, but even five, six years ago, I'm still, you know, no. watching what I'm spending. It's right. still like I'm right. stable, but I'm not like not. anything special. Right. Um, and now it's got to the point where we can really uh, got a better foundation. We, yeah, like we foundation. can blow a little money now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. You, you yeah. can do what you want. You yeah. Can, just like you got in the backyard, you can do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. But that just shows right there that the grind don't stop. It don't matter when it started. It never stops. And and it don't matter how long it takes you will get there. At some point, that one little thing that you need, just like he said, when he when he came over to California in a plastic bag, literally a plastic bag, he just came over with all his clothes and everything. It was just that one time that he needed to show everybody that he really got what he's been working on for 12 years. Now look at him now. You would have thought he's he been working on this for 12 years. This is only one year. He's working on two, he got more to go. He's not even done with the rest of this house yet. There's a lot of people think of it as like, there's one big breakthrough, but it's not one moment. It's just the consistency. Like right. I never had a moment where it's like, my stuff blew up and went to sports center and like all of a sudden it happened. It was like every day, put out content, give value, give value, give value. And it just grows over time. So I never had like that one moment. I never had that one breakthrough. It was just putting my head down and running through a wall every single day. So did you ever get, um, did you ever doubt yourself any time? Or you just like, I can do this? Yeah, a little bit, especially early on, because even when I was starting, nobody, like this wasn't even a field. Yeah. Like there were strength coaches who worked for teams, but like people didn't go off and like do it on their own. Yeah, exactly, and, exactly. Especially in, in my niche, like basketball, strength and conditioning, vertical jump. It's pretty rare to see people making a full-time living and so you know you tell your family and they're like but wait that's not a job that's a hobby yeah so you got to get a job and then do that on the side right and so yeah I, I had my my doubts early on um but you know you can you can create your own path Fact. that's the cool thing with social media is there's no more gatekeepers right nobody has to say yes yeah, nobody right. has to approve right there's there's no job interviews it's just how hard do I want to grind and, and do I want to make this into, into my, my career? career? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so for me, it's just being finding out what I'm passionate about, which I was always passionate about the training side of basketball. Mm -hmm. Being 5'10, undersized, slow, can't jump. I was like, study every day. How can I overcome this? Tried it on myself. My programs worked on myself. And then I just started applying it to thousands of other athletes. And so I was, I'm just passionate about it and I'm willing to work, willing to grind. That's really all there is to it. 
So to all the kids out there that <clears throat> is watching and, and listening to it, as far as the doubters, because that, that, that comes in heavy, especially with the generation we got now. A lot of people are doubting. A lot of people, they don't believe you until you actually do it. So to the kids that are sitting in the shadows behind the doubters because of the doubters and they say saying that they can't do it, what is some advice that you can really give to them? I mean, you have to ignore them because you got to understand the better you do, the more doubters you get, which people think that's opposite. It's like, oh, when you start, you get doubters and then you prove them wrong. That's what I thought. Right. But I did everything that my doubters were saying I couldn't do. And then I gained more doubters, right. more haters, more haters, the better you do. So if you look, LeBron James on Twitter, you know how many people are hating on him hating right now? LeBron, right. If you Google somebody who uh, is maybe on the bench and hasn't played, they have less doubters. So uh, that, that's it, man. That is it. And I know that y'all want to see more. I want to see a whole lot more. But we can't show y'all every single thing, man. He got he got a lot of secrets to to the gifts and the greatness that he got. But this is a dope house, man. Appreciate Definitely it. Definitely big up to you. Yeah, yes, sir. Definitely big up to him. This, like I said earlier, this is what grind and hustle really looks like. So stay on your grind and stay on your hustle and trust your process. But once again, shout out to my man, PJ. Let them know where they can uh, find you and follow you Sir, at. so you follow me, PJF Performance on Instagram, PJF Performance on YouTube. All of our programs are at pjfperformance.net. So you can check us out there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, wait a minute. We can't forget about this. You, I heard you got a new uh, program coming up. We got the new program. We got the speed code. So everybody knows about the vert code. Now we got the speed code, and that's for all athletes. Mm -hmm. Tennis, basketball, volleyball, baseball, doesn't matter. Anything. If you need to get faster and more explosive, we got the speed code. Anything. Listen, I'm telling you, grind and hustle. It don't stop. He's on the speed code now. He perfected his craft in the vert. Now he's on the speed. He's helping any and everybody all around the clock, all around the world. Tap in with PJF Performance and get the code. I'm telling you. Sir. Yep. We out. Appreciate it. We out.